even after B Tech people go for B.Ed now. Yes. But the question is, do you want to be part of an education system which is running as as it is now, mm. or maybe uh, do some innovative style of uh, creating something new, uh, giving uh, giving some uh, something like a different uh, structure. Okay, or make them. You said yeah, the yeah. deep knowledge that doesn't happen in most of the education. Okay. Right. So, do you really wanted to make some small model which makes a difference? Uh, the other day, I was in an education conference in which I had seen somebody who created a franchise model 500 number in India. He is a very rich man. Okay. He sponsors conferences. For him, though he started with education, now end up in a business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so do yeah. you? The question is, do you want to enjoy the low profile of enjoying with the children and such things, or do you want to be yes. in the? No. For me, education is not a business. Uh, uh, it's unfortunate that uh, 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 I see most people looking at education, trying to enter education, uh, looking at it as a business. For me, it's not that, like that. Personally, I spend most of my time in the library. I don't go to classes. Uh, even now, I'm sitting in steps of library right here. So. Uh, that's because somehow uh, I, I felt like this is not right. Matab, the system right now, I mean, although I am right now in it, I don't feel it, it contributes to my holistic development. And where does holistic development start? Age 3 to grade 3, as you say. Because that's when most of the uh, brain structure develops. Right now, I, I do see Kamiya in me. I do see drawbacks in my brain. But it takes a lot of effort to reverse it. Or at least mold it the way I want it. If it's so difficult for me, and I have gone through all this system. Now, the generations are yet to come. The generations are yet to come. If, if at all I want to add some value to it, I'll have to try to add some value there. But if, if, uh, if one thing is, I want to continue in education, more or less. Yes, I want to continue in education. I grew up seeing it. Uh, I come from an education ecosystem. All my family members are government teachers, even my grandparents. Uh, all my father's siblings, my mother's siblings, everybody is in education. So I want to do something, uh, build a model innovatively, which adds to students' development. Yeah, that's how I came across you, because you already built something. Yeah, this is a concept which is actually pondering in me for last 15, 16, 17 years. Okay. Very rarely people um, do it on a law scale. I get yeah. some um, updates saying that, yeah, this part of your system is being implemented, there is a small change mm. in people. Okay, to run as a business model, it's a different matter. Mm. That but is I wanted to have uh, models. Models means it is only one. Okay. You cannot duplicate things and then say I am a model, right? No. So Not if exchange. if Charit has got some environment around you in which you think this is the way innovation has to be done, it will be done like that in your premises or your business model. When somebody does in uh, Banjara Hills, it will be entirely different. Understood? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, but ultimately what it means is make children yeah. to think genuinely, creatively, play around, work around, use hands. And uh, uh, you can have an art which need not to be just drawing with in the costliest tab or maybe in the board. You can also do it by cutting and pasting and then creating something new like a model. Yeah, simple. So as you, you as you grow probably you will use metals and uh, uh, you know, waste part items around the world to create uh, your mm. own big models. But all yes. that starts with the small creativity in the childhood. This is what yeah. I wanted to uh, give it to young children, little bit of freedom. Uh, so, uh, two things are proposed now. I, there are people who are into this mind but started something but they couldn't go forward because there is nobody to guide. Okay. So, I support them by changing their system slowly but very hard for parents to uh, admit it uh, as it is. So, I will ask them change slowly one day, two days, three days and then take it maybe in a year time you will be able to convince more people. 
most of our celebrations are for such purposes let it be art festival let it be craft festival let it be sports day but i believe that you know we should not have a parent day grandmother's day mother's day similarly in a school you should not have an annual day every day should be an annual day yes every day should yes. be a sports day right why do you want to have a competition on day one day and call it as an annual day mm. every day you can be uh, active the way you want it mm. collaborate students like a, in a grandmother's place when somebody comes for marriage mix them together and that will be a great learning for some time mm. yeah similarly we can have gathering get together parents grandparents neighbors educated people there are lot of retired people wasting their time in this life they have lot of wisdom which can be shared mm. use them in the small place where some schools can run no i was in caricat in one of the old age home serving uh, in 2005 it's almost uh, 15 20 years back right yeah yeah so the 20 years back when i went i have seen old age homes in which old people are staying and they have lot of complaints health issues what i did was i started a dance school there a craft school there a music school there people tailoring classes people can come and join sometime so there is lot of flow of people and that flow of people have changed the mood of these elderly people mm. they had somebody to discuss they had somebody to see they are seeing young children who are dancing that becomes an entertainment for them so mm. Uh, by supporting young children you are also supporting the elderly people to make them more active regenerative and all that yeah now i believe i will drink water only when i have got a bottle of water beside me mm. otherwise during this discussion if i feel like drinking water and the water is little away it says 20 seconds old mm. if my hand to reach a bottle and pick it up it takes only 20 seconds Mm. if it is little away i will delay the program mm. suppose a children have got lot of books around them automatically by some time they will open it up and read mm. but today we have classrooms with no books around what you bring is only what you have so when you have what you bring generally they know i am going to take it back if not today tomorrow i can look at it understood yeah. so there is a there is a conceptual change which is required in the classrooms this is what i am looking at keep lot of books around the children elderly people keep reading looking at it children will see that they are reading if you look at uh, the whole world you don't have to go there today to learn right if you go to japan in a house there are no discussions no shouting no sounds in the bus there will be no sound in the market there will be no sound everybody is in a culture where they do themselves everything what they want they don't even communicate too much it has got good and bad advantage but one thing what we can learn is the discipline mm. understood they will never cross a road without uh, having the pedestrian lines marked even if the uh, vehicles are not coming they will wait until the signal light is on right america it is different mm. america if somebody wanted to walk they can walk whole vehicle will stop for you Mm. because the most importance is given to the pedestrians because the pedestrians are less there in japan pedestrians are more vehicles are less mm. because every there is a there is a parking problem everybody uses uh, no common uh, transport public transport so each culture has got different structure yeah. india is such a place we have got different structure different places from yeah. north to south east to west we have got different culture so we cannot implement one education system one culture one style says that everybody has to follow this mm. that is why i believe at least in the early childhood education after some time like uh, charit when you pass out to btech you have an option to go wherever you want mm. during graduation your parents have put you in a very specific school where they wanted to put you yeah most of the time that's what happens right 11th and 12th 8th 9th 10th 11th and 12th the parents decide teachers decide what subject you have to learn what education you have to have i feel up to 7th class at least children should have the freedom to pick up what they have locally learn hyderabad 
look around the city understand travel uh, learn from the parents grandparents because they don't they are not going to be with you throughout life mm. so understand from your neighborhood your culture your uh, life around you that is what education should be because otherwise you don't learn that in your childhood you will never ne- learn in your life mm. this is what is basic education now today in a city like hyderabad any point of time you can if you go around 10 kilometers you can see five different uh, language speaking people around you mm. i think every child up to fourth grade third grade must be able to pick up all the six seven languages then in the world he will become most brilliant understood he yeah. can go and see different gadgets not in his house in somebody's house he must be able to switch on and then work about it both the technical cultural uh, all the aspects of life that is what i am saying you your life your life around you and maybe your parents go to some place for a vacation now we have problem oh my student is on lkg he need attendance he cannot skip classes Th- this is what i keep asking why are you insisting for the attendance coming at 9 o'clock yeah. going at 4 o'clock let them come two hours let them come with their parents or grandparents Mm. so i believe a school system is open whenever you want not necessarily one mentor you can have 10 mentors based yes. on their time and uh, uh, no free time they can come and join every parent can be a mentor every grandparent can be a mentor so you are running an institution where like a flow of things happen no when somebody comes for marriage you don't tell you have to report at 10 o'clock and you have to go at 4 o'clock right they come they go take part discuss whatever they happens it happens and there is lot of learning happening around this is what i believe it is not attendance physically and but probably the mentors should look at what is the development happening in the child create a progress report need not get signed so that oh what is that we can add to him okay. where we can point out to him these sort of culture is what i believe should happen in your school yes okay. yes yeah. and uh, i want to share a small uh, example with you sir uh, when i went to show the yatra last show the yatra csy 461 i met uh, a couple their children they did not send put their children in formal education system one one child is 12 years old and the other child is 9 years old Uh, so far it was home schooling for them and in a lot of ways they were far better than people who went to the formal education yeah in a lot of ways they were far better than people who went to formal education you know they don't i don't see fear in them fear uh, uh, am i for uh, what next what next on a fear i don't see that in them they the, the child goes he just runs up the tree padipotam ane bayam ledu so i think there has fundamentally there is something uh, something wrong in the system and we can't change it in a sna- uh, in just like this it has to be a gradual process where the, all all the pe- people stakeholders are involved teachers students and parents alike it's uh, and it is important yeah yes sir so but uh, somewhere somebody has to start so the idea is to trigger yes. some people yes. to who can start so that one center to another center to another center we have something learning connect to people convince them it's all essential to start number one number two you can now today the open school open learning programs are plenty anybody can uh, learn anything from anywhere so i have a tie up with the university where we can give certification for activities under this like a, certi- uh, a small three month certification program and six months yes. of nine months of a diploma program maybe this education system which happens in indian style can be a great compendium of documentation which tomorrow can become an asset to somebody who can refer for which i wanted a research to, to happen at every every place which keep running okay this when you do it you need to have some target you need to have somebody certifying it that is why I have tied up with uh, Yoga University of America for a PhD program. Mm. So yeah. two and a half to three years of documentation will give you a uh, doctorate, which is not a government approved where you can show and then get a dig- uh, job. But you feel mm. dignified that you know, I have been given by a university which is recognized 
by the university in the American institutions. Yeah, I have, uh, yes sir, I, I, I did listen to the recording of the webinar uh, and uh, Yoga Institute of, uh, Yoga University of America, uh, I came, uh, I have listened to it. Look, going forward, this is what I'm, I'm planning to do sir. I want to establish a research firm, an educational research firm. Basically, what is the motto of this research firm is, how can, how can we make education, not a process, but a journey of holistic development, children. Yeah. And I wish to, uh, right now, in, I came, since I came across Siksha Gurukulam, uh, from my understanding, what happens in Hyderabad is different from what happens in Chennai. Because the context changes, the environment changes, different things. So, it is different from what happens in Mumbai, it is different from what happens in Delhi. Each one is a case study. Yeah, and uh, we have to document it. Each, each one has to be documented. It will add value in other places. Uh, Antanuk sir, if you take grassroots innovation as an example, uh, Brigadier Gardi, one solution, same solution, Pantaki uh, Kalpasunu, the same solution, the same problem, different solution in different places because the context changes, the land changes, the crop changes, the nature of this thing changes, environment changes. Same with education. It has to be flexible, it has to be adapted to the context. And at different levels, age 3 to grade 3 is one level. And then 3 to 10 might be another level. Then pre uh, junior college is another level. Undergraduation is another level. Different levels. I want to conduct research in different levels, each starting with age 3 to grade under you. So this is what I want to do, sir. Uh, I want to, starting with age 3 to grade 3, I want to document all of this. I want to study what, what's working, what I'm looking. And uh, different case studies I want to study. And then maybe, uh, okay, implement. I establish one 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 of my own Siksha Gurukulam. And then I'll implement it there. See, this is what I've uh, studied so far in these the previous years. This is what's working. This I have implemented over here. This is the model. Take it. You try to implement it. We'll help you. We are there here to help you. This is for age 3 to grade. Next, after this is done, next thing. After this is done, next thing. This way, I, it's an educational research form for all for uh, all the age groups. Yeah. But age 3 to grade 3 is uh, right now accessible for me. I, since I came across you, uh, the model is already ready. Just that I have to study it and I have to document it. Yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. Sir. But, and, but there is something. Yeah. So what happens is when the teachers, parents and the children and even the teachers who are only dealing with age 3 to grade 3, their level will not grow from that level to a higher level. Okay. In education, I must get into contact with the ultimate goal mm. for which I need to talk to those people. So my environment will be open for a after school program which will also run parallelly where a B.Tech can come, M.Tech can come, Ph.D. can come. Uh, highest people who are interested in mathematics, chemistry, physics can come. Some of the parents may be graduate, postgraduate, they are doing nothing. They can okay. guide them, these children who are in 8th, 9th, 10th grade or maybe graduation level, where mm -hmm. they can give them a mentoring, uh, help them in understanding the inner concepts of maths, physics, chemistry, biology, etc., etc. Okay. Put them together like an after school program so that the young teachers are not always looking at what they are supposed to do. They know, oh, my children are going to this level. So, I, my aim is to take them to that level. See, otherwise in the small classes, what happens is the teachers are not exposed to the higher education. Therefore, they have a limited knowledge. When you have limited knowledge, the way in which you deliver things will become less. They should also feel that I should also go up, I should also get into higher and higher and higher. So I yeah. want a KG teacher who may be a graduate or postgraduate or maybe only 10th grade should also think that no, it is not the end of my life in education. I must also develop myself. So I want teachers who are working also to not to teach, not to mentor alone. They should also develop themselves into higher and higher. At least there is an aspiration. There is a image building uh, activity in them. So that they don't work under somebody for long years to maintain their life in the same style. So it will be like a flow of plays where you have library books not just for KG. Not just for grade 3. You will have civil service training center there. You will have UPSC, PSC, SSC. Every training happens there. 
everybody can come and share knowledge but see that you spend it see a, a highly educated fellow who just, just touches a young fellow and ask one question is good enough for him to trigger oh this is how i should ask a question mm, yeah, otherwise what happens is the child will be always dealing with the same standard fellows understood okay. this is what i mean by an after school program after mm. school doesn't mean after four o'clock okay. it could be any day you don't want to see i was running a shiksha holiday program in my house in malkajigri okay you look at the uh, there are lot of videos available mm. that was the time when most of the engineering colleges in hyderabad were closed because of the telangana division strike okay. i utilized it maximum mm. i was a professor in engineering college during that time but i also don't go because the we start in the morning the bus stops we come back Okay. by the time i come back i will see some 20 children from different engineering colleges gather beside me okay. and my house was an open place where they can cook they they may be an mba student there may be a mbba student there may be a btech fellow we discuss every every subject under the world okay. there is nothing which we say that this is not your subject don't study <coughs> whoever ask question the rest of the people will just listen to that make a document and send it to me and all such documents are also put under a block mm. you will see a huge knowledge was shared there and there are some children who never thought about civil service started preparing for that there were never people who wanted to do ugc examination for research programs they never thought about writing cat gmat but somebody else was writing the people also thought why not i there was some mm. farmer who came who wanted to do a project a farmer son who wanted to do a project of electrifying some uh, small gadgets we all started to brainstorming around how this can be improved mm. so it is not his problem it has become our problem we also went for a lot of trips ground trips you know we went to where the uh, cloth is being made we started going for social service activities we started going for trucking we went to science museum so education is not one center where you are stuck no definitely not it is see sometime our classes were in metro the push pull train was the class mm. we said all of us will gather on secunderabad railway station on this day pick up whichever ticket you think see in a queue whoever is taking one ticket where they have to go pick a ticket from there and then travel with it you understood right. don't yeah. wait but after some time we will tell this is the place where all of us have to gather come reach back see how you can come back from that place to my place in a specific time period mm. understood you may catch an ola you may catch bus you may catch a taxi or an auto or a run or catch another train we don't care yeah it's like a uh, like, like a treasure hunt sort of a thing what we run and this happened in many places we went to temple we went to mosques we went to church we go to gurudwara uh, see how the gurudwara people are doing and sit somewhere we were in some garden discuss something and one of our program which happened the lower tank bund here in uh, malkajgiri there is a small mini tank bund which was also put into <laughs> times of india magazine as one program which we were doing and people were wondering what is it happening to you to sitting together discussing and all that right mm-hmm. so i i believe that such system should happen where a lot of sharing happens a caring happens you have a house where i know there are some places in hyderabad where andar illu and all is running but no activities it's like you go and sit in your place uh, eat what you want and then read no this has to be a lot of social interaction activities sitting together mixing together learning together use the wisdom of the elderly people use the uh, knowledge of the educated fellows use the curiosity of the young children and to uh, give them as much as we can yeah, yeah. such so yes such so such discussions where you share your wisdom your learnings what you have learned yeah. even your confusions your questions this has to happen i guess and that's what we also try to do with our club here uh so uh, uh i just wanted to know about the possibility of phd sir because uh, you, we, there will be few regulations few limitations right now i am in btech 
after we take uh, will i be able to directly join in uh, no you have to have a masters program that is the basic rule but that always you can register with some ignu or some private mm-hmm. online programs get a masters and then join for uh, a phd okay. in between you can do a pg diploma program in which whatever you do can be co- um, put together to get the phd mm-hmm. yes yeah. everything is and research yeah i am rushing to join in phd because what what needs to be done is clear in my mind and uh, somehow i am placed in a situation uh, i am placed in a uh, uh, place where i have a lot of support even from my father he he, he knows how to uh, he was a primary school teacher and he has run few schools few institutes few coaching institutes so he knows how to interact with children how to teach children how to teach them in different creative ways you know teaching learning materials that support is there from my father yeah uh, so dip- like this different supports are there and i am especially i am interested in education some i want to do something add some value to this uh, so that's why i'm rushing to join in phd yeah no in indian government also after btech without masters people are taken into phd yes uh, 2022 december the rule was passed yeah. you can directly go to direct phd yeah uh, i was having a little uh, uh, confusion regarding that sir so some masters program masters program is mandatory that is not a must but depends on what is the committee decides based on your you no know, there there will be a committee which says but the standing rule is that but there can be exceptions on this okay okay uh, if, if not we can uh, always do integrated program always do a program which can be a yeah integrated yeah. program in which you can register for masters in some place and then do this parallel hmm. that flexibility is there and uh, since when, when i'm talking about career i'm i'm not the only stakeholder my parents are also there i'll also have to address their concerns their major concerns are one is your career going forward the next is your income and the next is your uh, social status all of these uh, so i'll also have to explain all of this to them yeah career uh, i think uh, since we are starting a research firm this will continue this is this i see two three decades of work i am seeing in this I, i want to stay committed at least for a decade or two to this so career that question is answered and my father will be along with me all this journey in the research firm so that thing is sorted and the next thing is income in with respect to income i will be on a payroll in that research firm and uh, i also want to know about this stipend will there be any stipend sir no this Depends. is this is not this is not somewhere there is a support system which is financially supported by somebody else generally the rule is that you know some 35 to 40 percent goes to the guide and mm-hmm. for the system the university there is some 60 percentage of the income goes mm-hmm. when as yeah. a fees how the stipend how the support system is given the csr fund from somebody comes and that will be given to the university and university gives a fellowship right mm-hmm. such fellowships are not given into this because this we are running in a system where people in education system themselves are trust it's not like an american place where people are running with universities with a lot of funding lot of research right okay. and what happens in today's field no funding is given for any social as, uh, departments of social sciences philosophy history mathematics mm-hmm. education it's only given for technology because industries are only the supporting systems so there are some csr fund which runs to the university for its day to day affair because it runs lot of such activities around it but mm-hmm. no um, uh, support is given to phd students or diploma students or something but what can happen is we have diploma certificate programs in which there is a specific fee for the university that is very meager amount even for phd the fees is very meager but assume that you have you are conducting parallelly lot of such activities at different places whatever the amount comes from that hmm that will be there. cutting from the university the part of that uh, percentage what you get maybe 50 to 60 percentage can be for a one year program if you are very active probably you can earn more than what somebody can earn in a job it all depends on how good you are how are you going to support the university in terms of activity based right activity of university university okay. see this is how what happens in america also when somebody wanted to uh, get a fellowship they will ask you to become a assistant teaching profession 
so that you support the university in teaching and you are not paid but that is given as a fellowship to you yeah understood so yeah. you when you run a program during that program if there are some uh, certificate programs being run assume that you have making some people to join use that network that may be a meager amount of 1000 2000 rupees for a certificate program but collecting such uh, 50 members is good enough to give you a semester uh, fees for your phd <coughs> that is yeah. what should happen okay oh, that that shouldn't be a problem sir yeah. so uh, i will be under your guidance directly uh, see the, there is a uh, there are there are people in bangalore who is a neurosurgeon who is a very uh, no professional uh, doctor who is the vice chancellor for this in the indian continent i am an acharya for the shiksha gurugulam i don't want to work directly under the university because i am running a shiksha gurugulam for last 20 years i um, prefixed this under the university okay so they have recognized me as an acharya for the shiksha gurugulam and uh, annexed this shiksha gurugulam to the university mm-hmm. understood okay. so i have freedom but i am also associated to the university okay understood so it is not an issue i will be the person who will be guiding but if you find somebody else during the course of time oh this person is much better yes always because dr tps is not one who is going to uh, hunt for credit taking what oh if i get something i should not leave it to somebody else i believe in education we should become open knowledge is more important than anything else yeah i also learn uh, during the course of time understood so it's an open open system it's not a big problem it's a committee on which i will be the chairman for the time being that's what it says yeah i am asking this specially because uh, whenever i spend my time in anything the first thing i, I observe is not the monetary benefit anything even working with vijayana i said i'm not i'm not at all concerned with what you pay for me just provide me with maximum number of opportunities to learn i want to learn not for that i want to just learn how the life works how life works but you are obviously more experienced than me you know something or the other which is more than i want to grasp that i want to learn that so it's very important for me under whose guidance i am doing it uh, so learning is very important that uh, i i am a continuous i am a innate curious person learning, if there is learning i don't mind anything else. i'll just jump into it if i can if i feel like i can learn anything yeah and even from you not just this shiksha gurukulam sir i want to i want to learn different aspects from you uh, i've seen you videos of you i have been following you since few days few last because i have gotten when you look at video i i suggest you to give a comment okay with so, that is also one part of learning how to appreciate how to criticize how to comment so that oh i know uh, this person is looking at it right mm, mm, yeah understood make sure whatever you give you make a mark there so that i will also look at every day morning the first thing what i do is how many of you people have seen my video what is their comment where are they which is uh, useful because it's a long effort now today i am recording it there i am doing an audio record i am doing a screen grab of this discussion at the end generally what i ask is shall i put this hmm. okay yeah no problem once somebody says yes then only i'll put but there are hundreds and thousands which goes without uh, putting because i am a psychotherapist who counsel lot of people mm-hmm. so the personal problems when they discuss the, the issues in family issues in their psychological things i cannot post right so only common what you seen is a thing but even otherwise i record it because we don't know what will happen tomorrow right yeah, yeah. so i record this i i archive this if you come to my house you will see for last 24 years what i archived is those days from cd rom dvd to you know today it's a large large junk of uh, hundreds of hundreds of kilograms of uh, digital data archived you can see rather than junk it would be treasure yeah, but but treasure is only when somebody uses it right most of them may be unusable because it has gone for years but i don't want to throw it because at what happened recently i was looking at when the during the covid time i digged everything back those days uh, 2000 um, early 2000 or the late 2000 i was giving lecture in vivekananda institute of human excellence lower tank band the ramakrishna mat audio i kept and then started posting it back as my lectures i found i was much better a teacher than 
today during those days because those days i used to read i wrote to refer and there is one hour which i have to give a perfect lecture on a topic understood so those personality development communication skill power of positive thinking all that i was listening to myself yeah understood so i i believe in archive i believe in sharing and i believe in making people to practice so that they will become torch bearers in their own life right you can make a image by yourself mm. but i don't believe in uh, uh, just blah 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 i see mm. when um, vijendra knows me he connected to you ganesh and me is known to long back right mm. so many people are known to us but what happens is sometimes we don't share that's what when you ask me what should should i be the guide you think that you are more uh, harmonized with vijendran and you know we you by name sake what who is the guide is not an important factor he also have lot of ideas implement that assume that he runs a school by himself tomorrow your mm-hmm. research happens to be there this can be a one two three people uh, guide co guide supervisor some different yeah. methods can be there yeah. sure yeah no issue and at all apart from this also my personal to me i uh, i also want to uh, read all vedas upanishads because uh, one question which stayed with me was i'm learning something teacher is coming in my education during my education i'm learning something teacher is coming i'm studying it i'm writing exam what is this uh, i don't see it uh, using it after at just few years after i'm not i don't see anything u- using anything uh, what is true knowledge i always wanted to know answer to this and one answer i got from people say vedas are true knowledge so i also wanted to uh, study vedas and since you you uh, uh, you already studied it uh, so that that also can be a huge learning for me see um, i'll tell you education is like driving a cycle mm. i am learning how to drive a cycle on a specific road that doesn't mean i am going to drive only in that road throughout my life okay. but to teach learning cycling i need a road yeah to yeah. learn swimming i need a swimming pool but what i am teaching is how to swim mm. you may join in a college for a specific program just because that mm. is available to you mm. yeah. that doesn't mean you are going to study that subject throughout your life Ooh. understood Ooh. when i uh, i was a graduate student at your age we had only one option bsc mathematics bsc physics bsc chemistry no mba no btech nearby a btech college was 100 kilometers or 200 kilometers away from my house or you have to cross the border of kerala state and go to karnataka for btech even be was only in one or two engineering colleges government engineering colleges but today it's available next door why should not i join so why i have not joined for btech is because that was not available to me but what happened was because i learned how to learn mathematics how i learned how to learn physics today either it mechanical engineering electronics electrical any civil engineering any subject you give just give me the book you sit beside i will sit beside let both of us write exam i am sure i will either beat you or i will be equivalent to you mm-hmm. okay just because i studied that today i can learn geography i can learn history i can learn english i can learn so the ability to learn is what is education true you, it is yes. not teaching you that subject so doesn't right. matter you are sitting in i never skipped my classes during my graduation even it was the most boring lecturer i used to sit in the front bench mm. and most of my friends you are either on outside classrooms making fun of me saying what are you doing why are you wasting your time you know nothing is going to gain i keep saying i am learning how not to become a bad teacher in your life <laughs> okay you understood so i believe yeah. every suffering also has got like great things to teach you i stay in the most five star hotel maybe you name any best hotel in india i would have stayed there okay i also t- stay in itc but i also don't mind today going and staying in a place in a small tent in a basti when i go to kailash we have to stay in a tent that doesn't mean this was great and that was bad both are great for me 
both are experiences so i believe experience is what is learning experiencing learning maths if somebody says maths is tough i'll tell him come to me i'll show you how it becomes so simple for you hmm. if somebody says the language is difficult i'll tell you how to make it so simple for you right hmm. so it is the right. trick of learning what you learn hmm. that is most most essential in life yeah, yeah. education is only improving your brain to capture knowledge Mm. that only human being have that is why vivekananda said education is man making the more and more you get educated it doesn't mean certification the more and more you get educated you have curiosity to learn yeah. you are equivalent to a human being otherwise you are a human being only in look but not in any of your nature i don't know whether you know Swami Vivekananda is the ma- man who triggered starting Indian Institute of Science. IIS, okay. IIS. Yeah, I that did. was that was because when Tata met Vivekananda, he suggested Tata to start a institute, and that is why Indian Institute of Science is called the Tata Institute. Okay. The question was, where should I start? Immediately, Vivekananda referred him to Mysore Raja, and asked okay. Mysore Raja to part the land for him. Mm. that is why it came to bangalore okay. and when tata made the building land was ready building was ready courses were planned mm. tata wrote a letter to vivekananda to become director of indian institute of science okay and his qualification is ba dropout mm. <laughs> you understood yeah. so yeah, yeah. a ba dropout can become or he can be invited to become director of a science institute in india mm. that is because it is not qualification which gives you that grade dr tps was academic staff college director mm. academic staff college director is training teachers in the highest institution where the university teachers are trained okay mm. i was never a teacher i had never b ed i had na no mm. med i am not educational expert but mm. i had the inquisitiveness and the ability to give orientation to teachers and then make them into the highest research field in india mm. that was interviewed by many vice chancellors mm. understood that is how the committees uh, interview committees vice chancellors of different universities okay understood so they are, they they asked the question all the questions answers i have written in a document and then brought it for the interview okay before they ask yeah this is your question this is the answer take this document mm-hmm. next question comes this is the question this is the answer take this document if i can predict what the interview committee is going to ask mm-hmm. and then prepare and bring a printed copy of that they mm-hmm. found that oh this man knows what is the problems in education where teachers have to be trained right mm, yeah so this is what is required for anybody to get into highest education or the lowest education i was in the university level teaching teachers but now i am working in the early child care grade 3 to age 3 mm. the reason is i found that the basic education is not strong you will go out number 1 mm. it will be a problem we have national institute of technology nit the first nit is maulana azad national institute of technology okay that is in bhopal i was there to guide children for a project mm. that's how i started reading about the maulana azad national institute of education and maulana azad was the first education minister of india oh. mm. he is the man who triggered university grants commission the highest education system mm. but understand maulana azad never attended schools in his life he was a home schooling person okay you understood he yeah, yeah, never yeah. he never had a school education in a formal style his home schooling is what gave him the liberty to read as much as he wants got it so i believe you need to have a good library even if it is a kg lkg ukg keep a library 
collect a lot of books people can come read that becomes an open library when people are seeing reading very seriously any child also will start opening up a book but keep something which is for that standard mm-hmm. understood yeah but you cannot have young children reading very seriously when nobody else around him is seen reading why okay. people are addicted to mobile because you are seeing everybody is using mobile what else you will do you will also have to use mobile please yes. understood so keep yeah. such a system in which yeah mobile time is from this time to this time in our house everybody will start playing lot of things about augmented reality artificial intelligence i will also teach such things i will also make children to see how tiger can be brought into your house and kg classes when i teach teachers i teach teach them don't use the textbook you know you keep your um, mobile on and then show that the tiger is beside you okay okay so the 3d uh, 3d uh, uh, animal can come beside you and then see that you know oh this is great yeah it's yeah. not great it's available but you it's never okay. taught your teachers to use this but what will happen those students who are looking at you will feel that you are uneducated illiterate no uh, that is why i call this world as not 21st century education i call it as 3 2 1 world yeah third decade of 21st education okay see i right. finished writing a book i am so lazy sometime the book is ready only 40 pages mm. cover everything is designed i i am going on 14th for a program mm. in delhi i want this book to be given free mm. okay what happens is when we when we uh, the organizers are so lazy sometime they don't even print it when i go there understood mm. <laughs> i i want to test their interest so that what i am doing is i am sending this and then see where they print and then distribute their free no mm. so there i have told about 3 2 1 education third decade of 21st century how teaching has to be okay. that is what the book is all about yeah cool. and there there, there is a, there is a, i feel there is still a lot to be research a lot to be studied and, uh, and how to, how we can make this education system uh, how we can change how we can make it proper uh, such that it is a holistic journey for students since uh, uh, you are also uploading this on youtube sir uh, I, uh, is there anything else i have to know especially since the meeting is about phd program is there any anything else i have to know through us the other people who are interested? see i i keep telling when you are in a discussion mm. when something is being told immediately what you should think is what is that i have to do on this mm-hmm. what is the action given to me is there anything very specific which i have to do so that see dr tps has spent some time for you because you asked me yeah. to spend some time right i keep doing it mm-hmm. so what is that i can do so that this can taken to different people what is that i have to do to show that interest in oh i have interest in reading i have interest in learning what mm-hmm. is that i have to do to see that that i am learning i am also sharing for learning somebody else mm-hmm. yeah. understood action is for every small message which comes what is the action item mm. what is that i am supposed to do what is that is expected if you can think like that very seriously and take action on that i am sure uh, oh the relationship will build very strong okay. if there is no action and i am spending some time definitely people think you know yeah what is that we are gaining mm-hmm. maybe i will do that because it's all making me to think aloud but action doesn't come it has no meaning so i believe in udyamam sahasam dhairyam buddhi shakti parakramam shadhede yatra vartande devam tatra prakashyat the bhagavan will bless you only when you have actions around udyamam is oh, i want to do i want to do i want to do never happens sahasam is jump into action for which what you need is dhairyam buddhi shakti and parakrama there may be so many people who stops you but decided that i am going to do it yesterday i was watching the vatan a vatan mere vatan that movie which is released the usha mehta who started the radio first before independence 
okay so e- even to the father she uh, pledged and then gave a uh, word that no i will not work for congress mm-hmm. but she didn't work for congress she worked for the radio for congress understood <laughs> so yeah. the word given is i will not work i will not go to congress office all that pledge was given because her father was a judge but at the end of the movie you will see the father himself is telling oh what my daughter has done is great mm. otherwise father would have never known in india because of the daughter the father became famous right so sometime yeah. i remember when i went to the university as director my brother who was part of the university said don't come this is a nasty place not at all good nothing will happen no improvement can be made I said mm. yeah let me see but after 13 months my brother told yeah i am so glad that my brother is here understood so it takes some time for convincing somebody who is not in frequency with you mm. only right. when you have actions right and understood so that actions are very very essential just think what are all the actions what you can take from what we discussed now what is that i had a concern in which probably yeah what you can do to support it mm. understood yeah. if you find at least one point which you can take as an action item today within few hours that shows you are more active mm, yeah maybe by even see when i send a message you said i was thinking of sending a message dr tps never thinks i do actions okay. if i am thinking that i have to send a message there is no thinking udyamam sahasam okay. immediately that you may ignore doesn't matter understood so i have sent you a book which can be ordered which says the gita way mm, yeah. no reply for that no comment on that mm. i have done to hundreds of people including vijaya okay no they, they ignore but did mm. dr tps ignore your request for a discussion no no i made a g- google meet i i accepted i acted on that mm. you understood this is what i mean yeah. by during this discussion also there are a lot of action items which are triggered for you yeah if you take an action item which is easiest which can help which can support not me which can support in learning support in sharing supporting caring about somebody's curiosity i think the job is done yeah and and uh, that's a lesson we can learn from chanakya uh, see yeah, yeah, his the theory is different i am telling you what practically i do so yeah. i also i also learned all these fellows that the, from that only i am saying yeah. yeah so it's it's really important just a little bit time you document it and you publish it it will help somebody it might help you might not help but somebody some, someday it will help that should be our way of like i think yeah it's true okay yeah, most of my uh, doubts are cleared but if there are any anything else i think uh, uh, did, did i tell you this sir my uh, probably my father also is also interested in a phd he was he tried two times for a phd uh, right now i don't know his state of mind whether he is interested or not but he uh, that's also a possibility yeah yeah also do it yeah there is no age bar there is no anybody uh, can do it yeah yeah so he'll be a constant support together we'll lift load uh, yeah. and this research from did that seem practical sir the, the umbrella structure which you say about different places if it's uh, different models will be there different contexts different case studies i'll be studying all of it i'll be documenting it under this research form which will which i'll get some funding so i'll be uh, i'll be on a payroll that this is the so the funding part the salary part is uh, their concern is addressed my parents concern yeah so yeah. Yeah. starting from age 3 to grade 3 which is most important that's when the brain develops and then we can later on we can uh, get plus this, after uh, school program after school programs yes yes we can do that so did that seem practical did that seem possible yeah, yeah that is what i am saying right whatever i told is same okay and since we are planning to start a new shiksha gurukulam a new center or collaborate with an existing one we'll also uh, have to uh, negotiate with parents because initially they won't trust to send their children no that is why we run parallel things we run yeah the normal situation we will run but Some a day will be like a free day for all of the children depends on how many number of children are there based yeah. on that in random looking at the situation i can suggest what could be the best model to start yes definitely, definitely. so most of my concerns are answered so most of my doubts are clear and uh, please do upload this on uh, 
is there anything else you want to know about me or my bag it's okay That's let me see how the action comes forward oh that yeah definitely. yeah thanks for your time sir thank, thank you god bless you thank you thank bye. you see you soon